Good morning, friends and fellow farmers. All right, where are we at? We are at the 17th. Nothing happening today. Nothing special. Autumn Derby is tomorrow. Hmm. Okay, uh, entertainment. Dear Princess, part 27. I was unsure of whether to be excited or scared about the Dark Lord's preparations for his duel with the legendary hero. But as we enter a wide audience chamber with a high ceiling, my fears are settled. In this vast yet partially decorated room with a velvet carpet spanning its breadth and ornate silken tapestries hanging down the walls, I recognize instantly that this is where my two candidates for marriage will do battle. My host explains that all I need to do is sit on the throne at the top of the stairs and wait, so I do as I'm told. To my delight, it occurs to me that I'll be able to safely watch this entire fight from here. The Dark Lord is standing right next to me so that there's no way the legendary hero can rescue me without first getting through him. It seems as if my host has thought of everything. Though I can't help but wonder why why he's holding a glass of the juice I made from a brunch. We finished off the bottle together this morning, so where did it come from? All of a sudden, my juicy ruminations are cut short by a slamming door. The legendary hero is here. To be continued. <laughs> and the news, uh... Okay, if you have a horse, you want to enter it in a race. Well, we're already at that. My goodness. Hello, Hodge. We'll be holding the Autumn Derby at 10 a.m. sharp in the plaza tomorrow. How about entering a horse on your farm? Yes, well, let's do it. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad you'll be joining. I'll take Timothy with me then. The Autumn Derby starts at 10 a.m. tomorrow, so don't be late. You gonna take Timothy with you? Really? Dude. Not cool. All right. Good morning, kitty. Uh, let's get... Uh... There you go. Go for it. You got it. Got to ring the bell here. <clears throat> All right. Now, uh, yeah, there they go. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have to put... Oh, uh, you know what? I don't think I have a... <laughs> Let me through. I don't think Buddy has... Uh, I, I have to do anything. So let's go load up these. The, uh, the cows are ultra cows pregnant 16 days to go 16 days to go oh my goodness oh they're gonna be busy okay um there we go oh and then what do i have left here um right i don't have any room to put anything I'm not going to actually bother clipping them, I'll just wait. Okay, so my buddies are going to be doing other stuff there. i got to go feed the hens, actually, don't I? Uh-oh. Let's go do that. And let's get in there and see what uh, what's going on in here. Now, I have to put some feed in one of these. We have five things going on in here. Seems like a lot. Okay. Oh, no, that's not it. Okay, and then if you put an incubator, egg in the incubator, wait a few days. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I might just wait on rabbits. Uh, did I? Oh my gosh, I don't remember. Did I use the breeding kit on one of the rabbits? I thought I did. And is that a baby rabbit? Is that what happened? I, I so cannot remember. Let's grab this thing. I'm forgetting what uh, where all of that settled up. My barn is too full. I can't take in. Oh, is that what it is? Okay, so we've got... I can't even see. <laughs> Those three are together. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's right. There's eight. Eight critters in a barn. Okay, that's fine. That all makes sense now, right? Because we do have that the, the small, this little critter here. Not you, Venus. You. Punk. That's right. Punk is the new one. I think that happened in between episodes, now that I think about it. I think it uh, Punk was born at the start of the episode, or the end of the episode or something. So there we go. Punk. Punk is going to join us. Well, that's cool. Okay, well, let's go put our, uh, our breeding kit away. Yeah, it's funny. The, I think the uh, the inability. Can I just 
No, I can't sell that. Uh, I guess we'll put it in here. Um, yeah, it's interesting that the inability to um, build more barns and things, that is one of the weird feelings this game has, is that you, you do sort of feel like you hit a wall at a certain point. Just the freeformed. I think that's. I've enjoyed the uh, the more recent the the all of town. It has the same bananas feel. In fact, I'd say it's even more bananas. But it also has the ability to like really affect your game space, which is that's such a huge uh, thing in these games. I think that must have been a big leap. I can't. I have no idea when in the history of these series that sort of became a, a whole thing. But it's uh, what a great innovation that is. Uh, I'll come this way. Oh, that's not doing anything. Am I out of water? I think I'm out of water. Yeah, I got like three. Okay, let's get some stuff the fishy pond. Okay, uh, sure, we'll come that way. Then we'll go this way. I don't know, just trying to figure out how to get all the weird little bits that have gotten missed here. Okay, they're busy with, <clears throat> excuse me, with those ones. Uh, what time is it? It's two o'clock. Well, I'll just leave them alone. They should be good. So I don't remember now where Jennifer exactly is going to be. Let's go ahead into here and take a peek. Oh, it looks like, uh, our good friend Brandon is here. Hello. Hello, Brandon. Here, have, uh... Yeah, you bet. I'm aware of his preferences. Have some honey. Let's head down over and go see dear Jennifer. Um... Yeah, it's... Now that we've, we've come so far and there's not, like, uh, a, a, like, getting them, getting married... That's a, a big thing, just because you can. Um, which is a fu another funny thing I think I've said in the other game, in uh, All of Town. I don't even feel the uh, that it's that big of a deal <laughs> to get married in that game, because there's so much to do. You're just like, I'm just living on my farm. I'm just having my best life right here. This one feels far more like... It, it feels like an essential part of the thing because there's a much more limited range of things to do. Okay. A few more flowers. Add them to the collection. How, how am I even... Oh, I guess I was farming. I was like, how have I even run out of or run low on hearts? Like, how is that possible? All right. Uh... I don't know. No idea where Jennifer went. She's probably at the inn or something. Someone had noted Jennifer's schedule, but I'm completely oblivious. Schedule and conflicts are not my forte. Right, let's go find out if she's hanging out over here. And the kitty cat is here. As a buddy. Hey Gray, I have a really good feeling about this derby. I'm going to win something for sure, though I say that every year and I, I have yet to get lucky. How's it going, Lou? If you ever get the chance, you ought to drop by and visit. Uh, I'll put you up at my place and everything. Do you like cooking? Then I've got just the thing for you. See, I've got a nice little recipe for veggie juice. Young folks these days are always skimping on the veggies in our diets. It's a lot easier to get your daily servings from tasty liquid form. I'll say that much. Now listen up. Okay. We just learned veggie juice. That's awesome. What are you doing here at this time of day? Well, I'm learning about veggie juice, clearly. I mean, what else would I be doing? Hey, bud. Uh, you were... I thought you were an apple lover, right? I think he enjoyed that. Now, let's see here. Um, yeah, so we're still kind of just cooking along. Huh. I feel like I've gotten farther with Kappa.
And I, I've given up on Jennifer. I don't think she's around. I think she's moved out of town. Oh, hey. My gosh. Okay, there we go. How are we doing today? Hello there, Hodge. How are the energies of your farm? You should try and come by. Hey, Ron. Thanks. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? I always get real worked up to come derby time. I look forward to them every year. Okay, buddy. Um, oh, I think I'll hide it for a minute and keep it over to myself. Yeah, you, you, one apple for both of you. Hey, buddy. Hey, Hodge, are you done working? Okay, uh, yeah, moderation is a key. Have an orange. Hey, sidebar, what's going on? So about that derby tomorrow. I'm going to place my bets on... <laughs> Actually, it'd be best if I kept that a secret. If you don't say me, Saibara, I'm going to be something un displeased. You better mean us. All bets on us. Okay, let's see if the sprites... Oh no, I just realized too. Are they done? They're done. Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff to do tomorrow. I don't like this. Can I just blow up the crops? Can I scythe them all down? Because I think that might be for the best. <laughs> Genuinely, I think that might be for the best. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to scythe them all down. But, uh... Okay, there we go. Trying to give that a close shave, but I'd not wipe them all out at the same time. Oh. How about we extend the reach there a bit? There we go. Okay, I know now I'm getting all tired. Alright. Sure. We'll take that piece. Okay, let's go put this stuff away. Now that we're really running through it. Okay, and you, and you. Okay. So all the... Uh, yeah, I've got to see how many... If I can only hold eight animals in that one. This one's got two, four, six. So right, once these cows, I'll have seven, eight. Oh, I will be full, I think. Huh. Unless, mm. what does it say here? Oh no, that's my fodder count. You can look at the. There's a book, right? Or is that in the other one? I don't think there's a book. <laughs> Me, what game am I playing again? Uh, let's put the fluff in. Which one is it now? Let's make a guess. It's that one. It's that one. And then we'll make some more yarn. And we'll make some cheese. And what is this thing again? Right, okay. But, yeah, the butter maker. Yeah, we'll leave that one alone. Okay, so I guess we'll put the butter in there and then we'll put... So the yarn goes for 920. Wow. That's not bad. Uh, I guess I'll keep the mushrooms. $3,400 just in largely miscellaneous, right? I could put the eggplant in here. Oh my goodness. There we go. Alright, let's put some stuff away here. Um... And then let's check out the juice. There we go. Oh, look at that stuff. All right, can I make another? So the mixed juice, I need, see, I need a fruit juice and a veggie juice. And then fruit juice, I need strawberries. That's what I'm waiting for. Okay, because what I was going to try and do is just, I was going to try one of these. 
turn that frown upside down there. There we go. So I need to get strawberries going. That uh, That's not going to happen in winter. All right, we will see you all next time. I think we have a big derby ahead of us. See you then. Bye-bye.